All right, it's Mr. Bellamy one more time. Hopefully I can get this in before the next class comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to be a log roller. So in the 1800s, they had, not necessarily as much in Kansas, but they'd have to hire people to roll logs uh, out of the forest area when they would cut them so they wouldn't all get into a jam. So if there was log jam, people would have to go out and they'd have to log roll. So what they would do is they'd go out and walk out on the logs and they would just roll them and move them to separate them and get them back into the flow and to put them where they were supposed to do. So this became kind of a sport and people would have log rolling contests on who was the best and how to do that. So I bought these log rollers and what you do is you just practice standing on them, first of all. So you work on your balance. It's actually better to do with no shoes on because you get a better feel of it uh, than with your shoes. It makes it a little bit stiffer. And you just practice standing on it. Once you get to where you can stand on it, then you just start taking short steps and you roll with it. I don't want the kids to go backwards too often because when you go backwards, it'll sometimes it'll shoot out from under you and you'll face plant. Uh, so but you have to be careful that it doesn't shoot this way, so you don't pull backwards either. So you want to stand on it, get a nice steady base, and then be able to stand before I let them move. So a lot of times we start this at a wall, and so they just use the wall to hold themselves up, or they just stand and practice just stepping up on it. So either way, that's my log rollers. Hope you have a great day. And they'll do races back and forth once they get good at it. So. Have a great day. See ya. Go find a log to roll.